Okay, so now that all the parts are clean, you'll notice that I want to wash my hands because you do not want to have any grit inside of there. You don't want to put any of that stuff back in there. So, what I'm going to use is some good old Castrol Classic Spheral. Very, very good. It's the good stuff. We will start by putting the bearings back in place. So just with the with the finger, put it directly on the bearing. This will sort of act like a seal. But, 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 you want to remove the excess because you don't want to have too much of that grease on the outside because obviously grease attracts dirt faster than you know it. So it's a little trick of the trade right there. Press that down. Beautiful. Okay. So the axle, wheel axle shaft, note the way that it goes, wipe the excess off, the little pin, tap back in, there you go, and then I'll dip it in here, make sure that all the grooves of the sprocket are filled with grease, you don't want to go too crazy about it, but uh, you know, it has to be sufficiently lubricated. All the excess is going to squish around on the sides and if you'll notice there's a little recess on the outer case into which I usually put a bead of grease so to speak and this will aid in um, sealing. There you go. Not too much, not too little. Gotta get it just right. So now I can refit the halves together. See the grease is like squishing onto the in and outside and start screwing again. As I said there are no, they're all the same so it doesn't matter which goes where. Now for tightening these, I wouldn't think that there's a tightening sequence, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't uh, fully read the assembly manual for this. Usually when you have something like this you'd want to have the torque applied evenly across the part. So you'd, you'd go on a uh, crisscross pattern. Now this is obviously a model so um, I don't think it really matches but um, still you know I'm mechanically minded. It's uh, it's my job so uh, I'll do it in a crisscross pattern anyway. So I'll start in a way that seems logical to me. When you tighten them you don't want to go crazy on it. It's made of plastic remember. They're very tiny these bolts, so what you have to do is seat them and just make them finger tight. You'll see the cases come together and that's when you have to stop. There you go, that's enough. See the halves come together and that's enough. Very nice and then nearly done. Oop, I see a bit of grease oozing out there which is good. Some grease oozing out here as well which is going to make some sort of a temporary seal I guess. Better than putting some expensive sealing compound and uh, at this scale it's perfect. Grease is hydrophobic anyway so it's going to repel water naturally. Okay so the cases are put back together and give it give it a wipe down because remember that uh, grease will make the uh, dirt and grit stick so you don't want that. So here's something that I uh, that I did buy from a model shop. It's highly useful and you can refill it and what I use is actually um, sewing machine oil. Okay, very good, very very good. Moving on. Nearly done. So now we want to reassemble the half shaft. The drop or two. Can You can never really go overboard with this. And there you go. See it makes sort of a, uh, the oil makes kind of a seal. Okay, so the, uh, stick the bearing back on. And just slide over. I think there's a bit of wear. Apparently the inner race is spinning onto the onto the hub here. 
strange. It's a good idea to take a look at the teeth of the sprocket here as well. I can see they're starting to get a bit shiny, which means they're running in very nicely. And again, make sure that your hands are very clean and make sure to fill all the teeth with this grease here. As you can see, it's pretty fluid grease, so it doesn't offer that much of a res resistance, but it does lube everything up very nicely, makes it operate smoothly. There we go. Beautiful. Switch back to the other head and put these little tiny little things. Again, the function of these three is just to hold the bearing in place, so don't go crazy. Just you finger tight is already too tight in fact in this case. You really just have to seat them. That's it. The threads are so small it will be easy to mess them up since the cases are made out of some sort of plastic. That is it and all that does is to avoid the bearing to be pulled out. So give it a few turns to lube everything up and there you go. Listen to that. Perfectly clean. Wonderful. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Job done. Took me 41 minutes and 20 seconds this time. Just so you know, it is an operation that does take a bit of time. And uh, well, yeah, from here on, uh, installation is a reversal of removal. I will spare you. I will spare you that. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it very much. And um, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you very much again, guys.